Hi everyone, welcome back to Pine Hollow Auto Diagnostics. We got called in mobile diagnostic call on a 2017 beached whale Ford Fusion. The owner says he just drove it to Texas and back for work. He's a grad student at Penn State and now he needs it to go to campus. He wants to go to the pool. It's hot. This thing will not crank. It's dead. So we're here to diagnose it. Hopefully it won't be a uh, too expensive to repair. So first we have a battery charger hooked up, 13 and a half volts. Let's scan it for codes, see where this goes. All right, so we did a full code scan. Key is on. I'll show you what happens when you push the button. Nothing. To start, press brake. It says hood ajar, it will not crank. So, the code stored, um, pretty interesting code list, let's see, ABS says ignition switch, never seen that code before, lost communication with PCM, some other stuff, lost communication codes, there's another one, ignition switch, what's wrong with this ignition switch, communication codes, communication codes, Ignition switch on start position A circuit low. That's in the transmission range control module. And the BCM says start button. <laughs> so something wrong with this start button. Let me clear all the DTCs out and see if um, what is a hard fault. We'll try to crank it one more time and focus on the codes that are left. Okay, so two hard faults left. ABS says ignition switch and Front controls interface module says invalid data received from PCM. Everything else is green, so let's shut it off. We'll open the door, close the door, press the brake, crank it. Crank it again. Nope, it just goes to sleep. All right, let's scan it the whole car one more time and focus on the codes that just came up. Okay, so the code scan here after clearing all the codes and cycling the ignition switch, we do have quite a few red modules. So I downloaded the report, and let's see what's remaining. So we have this U3000A29AB ignition switch. That's in the ABS. Camera module, don't care. Lost communication with power steering control module. So you'll notice power steering control module is offline. That's interesting, we'll keep that in mind. That's why it's steering it's saying a steering system fault. Then FCIM says invalid data received from PCM. Instrument cluster can't talk to the power steering control module. Instrument panel cluster says invalid data received from engine computer. Engine computer. And TRCM says ignition switch on start position A circuit low. So let me start with this code. and see where that goes. We can also pull up a wiring diagram for the power steering control module because it seems like that's the only module that's offline that the other modules are fussing about. So two directions here, let's look them up. Okay, so the uh, wiring diagram for the power steering control module is actually very simple. We have battery voltage right here, that's the big 70 amp fuse. Then we have a ground, we have communication wires, and then this fuse right here, hot and start or run, that's the one we want to check right off the bat. V power, hot and start and run. So battery junction box, BJB, F19, 10 amp. Let's, uh, let's find that fuse and see if it's hot right now with the key on. All right, so under the hood, here's the battery junction box. Fuse 19 is going to be the second one over here, 10 amp. Um, First, you want to check your test light. So if it finds battery power, it should light up. It does light up. That one's lit up. This one's lit up. That one is not. So our power steering control module should have power. Full accessory power mode active. Let's just try talking to it one more time. Read fault code, so it is online, 
no DTCs. How about that? Power steering control module. Let's clear DTCs one more time. It was off camera when I checked that fuse. It did not light the test light, but then something woke up. These two relays are burning hot. Again, okay, everything's cleared out. Let's see if it starts. I don't like this. Something changed. Now the vehicle starts and runs are a no code set. I think we have to do a little more research, try to recreate this problem. The only thing I did was check those fuses. They were all dead. And then I checked them again. When I turned the camera on, it was like, hey, we have power. Everything came back online. The car started. Okay, looking at power distribution now. So from the power steering control module, this fuse was not hot initially before I turned the camera on. And then it became hot. So where does this come from? You need to look up power distribution diagrams and the neat thing about Ford diagrams is they tell you exactly which diagram this fuse comes from. So this right here is the diagram 13-16 and we can see here this run start relay feeds fuse 19, 25, um, 20, 21. So this whole row that I checked was dead. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 even 25 and 26 so you can see the ABS was fussing that the ignition switch was bad because it wasn't getting power on the ignition on circuit P PSCM was offline um, the powertrain control module surprisingly did not set a code but I assume that fuse is also dead let's see the next diagram where this goes I want to see if this entire leg was offline all right, sure enough, there are more fuses like F23 15 amp. That's this one right here. That feeds the TRCM. That was setting an ignition switch fault, so that makes sense. All these fuses on this tree were affected. So, let's, uh, let's see where this run start relay lives. I don't know if it's replaceable, if it's one of these. And then we can swap it with another relay that's not as important and see if our problems go away. Check pin tension. It was something in this fuse box that was making a poor contact. All right, so here we go. Run start relay is this one next to all of those fuses. So that makes sense. Let's go back to our power distribution diagram. It's right here. And it's controlled by the BCM. So I'm thinking we can swap the run start relay with maybe the blower motor relay, something not as important. And then um, see if everything is good. Because right now the car is not broken. All right, so right now the key is on. What I want to do is take out the run start relay. We can even wiggle it, see if it clicks or not clicks. It does click, so let's take it out and do a full code scan and see if those codes are exactly the same as they were when I showed up. All right, so obviously no crank. We can shut it off, open the door, key back on. Let's do a full code scan and see if the exact same codes came back. Yep, ABS has one, BCM has two, I think it will be, be the, exactly the same code list. The PSCM will not be online. So, if the pin tension checks out, we're just going to swap the blower relay and that run start relay and make sure this thing drives fine, clear out all the codes, and give it back to the customer. All right, so exactly like I suspected, we have the exact same codes with that run start relay pulled out. 
power steering control module is offline. So that's good. Let's uh, turn the key off and swap that relay with the blower relay. And uh, I'll just do it right now. And make sure there are no more issues. And if his blower stops working, well, then uh, then we know that the relay is bad, but we just want the car to at least start and run and drive. Let's make sure it starts. Yep, starts up just fine. Do full code scan, clear out all the codes. Let's try the blower. I think it's ramping up. Come on. There we go. So that works. Um, hopefully that's it. Let's make sure you can shift into gear. Yep. Okay, let's clear all the trouble codes. Make sure nothing comes back. Car seems to be happy. All right, shut it down. Turn the lights automatic. No problems. Make sure the blower comes back to life. A little while to ramp up. Yep, we got nice cold air. One more scan for good luck. So I think we're done here. So we know exactly what the problem was in terms of what was missing. Missing a power feed to the, the basically the run start relay was not operational. Now was it a control side issue or a load side issue? Unclear. Because it changed, the state changed when I opened the fuse box. I started poking around with the test light. So, we swapped the two relays around, blower and run start. So now, hopefully the blower relay is still good and reliable, and if his blower stops working, he'll know that the relay was for sure bad. If the same issue comes back, and the blower still works, then we're gonna chase a wiring problem, control side problem, so not ideal for the customer, you know, I don't have a 100% guarantee for now, but the car starts and runs, and we, at least we got a very good direction of what to check if the problem reoccurs. So we'll leave that for now. If there's a follow-up, we'll post that. Um, but thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.